I'm gonna go around through my house and find plants that I feel are the perfect like next step plants for those enthusiasts stepping away from beginnership toward a brighter future, more full of plants. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna go find some plants. Almost forgot ya. <laughs> My knees are red. <laughs> I feel like I'm in step up. <laughs> This is a philodendron Burlmark's fantasy. It is a perfect option. I love this plant. I think this is a really great next step plant and I think it's an awesome plant for everybody. It's so pretty. The color of the leaves is like kind of teal. I mean, it definitely leans more green than teal, but there's for sure a till hue. There's also a little bit like on the back sides, like goldish reddish colors, which, oh, it's so pretty. Plus how intricate the veining on the leaves are is incredibly beautiful. Like I just really, truly, truly love this plant. I think it's, it's definitely like top 10 for me, but anyway, okay. <sighs> it's been living in this nursery pot for a year or so now. I just think it's time I, I don't know, I'm just kind of over the nursery pot life and I've been trying to get all of my plants into there like forever. I use that, that wordage loosely because I'll probably have to repot them in like a year or so. I'm going to pot it into this planter. I think it's a good combo. And I have this piece of cholla wood. Is it cholla or is it chola? Because I know in Spanish, the double L is like a yeah sound. So I don't know, which is it? Chola or Choya? I don't know, I think it'll be a cool, just a cool little combo. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'd like to quickly think and tell you a little more about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. I'm sure we all already know about Skillshare and the thousands of inspiring classes they offer, but did you know Skillshare also has hundreds of career focused classes as well? Working in jobs are definitely not one size fits all. Me personally, I knew I needed something a little more creative, which is why I turned to YouTube. For those of you who are maybe in the same boat and want something a little more creative or like a side hustle or something like that, a course I really love and frequently revisit. It's called Productivity for Creators, Systems, Organization, and Workflow with Ali Abdal, who is a doctor and YouTuber. There are a lot of really great points made in this video, but something that really sticks out to me is productive downtime. That is something I actually do in my literally everyday life now. So if you've been wanting to get your side hustle more creative gig going, Skillshare is a great asset and I can recommend so many classes. And now is a great time to get started because Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 of you to click the link in my description box, a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can get going on achieving those career goals this year. Head to the description box to take advantage of that. And again, thank you to Skillshare. With that being said, let's get back into it. I really wanted to do this outside today, but out of nowhere, it just decided to blizzard. It's much too cold for the plant mostly. I, I honestly would probably just deal with it because I love doing this kind of stuff outside. Okay, so let's see what we have going on in this. Ooh. 
Those roots look pretty good. I mean, I don't think it needs to be repotted. Like it's not a complete necessity. necessity. I'm just ready to get this out of the nursery pot, like I said. That is so satisfying. I'm not going to mess with the roots like too much, but I am just trying to break up the soil like a little bit. So I'm just kind of digging my hands in there to like aerate it, I guess a little bit. I'm not completely tearing apart the roots though. I want it like off-centered a little bit, I think. Maybe I'm gonna add a little more substrate so it sits a little bit higher because it will settle a bit once I water it. Ooh, yeah. Let's move all of this out of the way. I don't know, I think that that looks pretty cool. Wow, let's turn it the way it's supposed to be turned. Well, I don't like it right here. We're gonna have to move it up for a minute. Uh, I think I'm gonna move this guy right here and put this up against the window. Or it'll stand out a lot more. Oh, that is cool. Okay, I like that. Looks so cool, like, I don't know, mixed in with the, the rest of these plants. I'll just tell you about a few of the other plants I feel like are great next step plants. And the next one is the Syngonium erythrophyllum. It looks so different from every other plant I can think of. It has these really dark green, almost black. And the under undersides are a purplish red, which I just find so beautiful. And it really adds some variety to la plant collection, which is something I personally look for when I'm like getting new plants. I don't know, so I can see a lot of different kinds of plants and different looking plants grow. And I don't know, the colors of this plant are just so good. <laughs> This one is a little bit more difficult one of Peperomia, I would say. This is a Peperomia Hoffmanii, and it has quickly become one of my favorite Peperomia varieties that I have. I don't have too many, but I do really, really like this one. I, I love how like full it is, and really the growth pattern is just so cute. Kind of a crawler, which I like. This variety is a little bit thirstier than other Syngoniums, and if you're able to keep it in high light, I definitely recommend that. Wow, these little, these little leaves. I think it deserves a little more credit. Next, maybe the last one I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> this one, Syngonium Red Spot Tricolor. The color of the leaves, not only does it have that beautiful pink sectoral variegation, but it also has white sectoral variegation as well as white speckling, which I think speckling might be my favorite kind of variegation. Wow. It's just unreal. Literally, it looks fake. This kind of plant, plants being so cool like this or how I just know we're in a simulation. There's no way this just randomly happened. Somebody designed this on their computer or something. Had to have, <laughs> it's too cool. So a little spiny flower mantis update. I decided to name this one Zenitsu. It's so cool because this spiny flower mantis and my ghost mantises have very different personalities. All three of the ghost mantises I've kept have been very just like chill and would let me like handle them pretty easily. But this guy, this spiny flower mantis is so aggressive isn't the word because it's not aggressive. It's trying to scare me off right now by making itself look big even though it's literally just sitting on my hand, but like I put my finger here and it instantly raises its arm up, arms up to look really big and scary. 
You are so scary. You are just the scariest little mantis. You're doing such a good job, little buddy. So scary. All right, the kids wanted to go play outside in the snow, so we're gonna go play in the snow. Dude, our backyard is a lake. Oh, a lake. It's a lake. Saw Bismarck. That one's about to start laying eggs. Yeah, you know. Oh, he's having so much fun. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> Most nights I'm asleep by 9.30. You know, I just really need like time where I'm not in charge of the kids and like I'll help out a little bit with the kids, but in the evening, like Ryan is in charge of the kids and I really do the bare minimum with them. Um, he like puts them down for bed and everything and I'll edit and do like work stuff. So that's how we've been managing as a teacher, YouTuber with kids, <laughs> relationship, partnership. He, I get morning, I get morning duty, he gets evening duty. Thank you for hanging out with me today. It feels good to have someone, an, another adult to talk to <laughs> through the day. So I really appreciate it. I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye. <gasps> oh, hi. Oh, I wish you could have seen it. Okay, bye! Yeah! 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 Yeah!